This deck is what happens when Nahida is enjoying the Sumeru countryside while a certain someone is left unsupervised. Dendro is mostly associated with Electro Summons for Catalyze in the TCG. Because of this, it gets a bad rap for being a bit of a one-trick pony. But this deck doesn't use summons at all, and this allows the deck to be quite flexible with its opening. The first thing to talk about with this deck is the starting hand. A generally good starting hand will include Lieben, Mushroom Pizza, Catherine, Bestest Travel Companion, and the Favonius Library to offer potential for both ramp and aggressive openings. However, the flexibility of the opening for this deck depends entirely on what your opponent is running. For example, if the opponent is running characters such as Singcho, Kokomi, or Barbara, it may be best to start with Nahida so that their abilities are forced to activate Bloom. Against characters like Raiden or Tainari, who want to stand still, it may be best to start with Kutzing and then swap into Klee for the aggressive Overload combo to disrupt their combos. This can also help combat Bennett and Diona stall decks. A general opening, however, may start with Kutzing to get her skill down. Kutzing's unique ability to instantly swap back to her and attack with Electro allows her to perform massive amounts of surprise damage, so getting her skill out early is ideal. After this attack, the deck could opt for a slower ramp start, or swap into Nahida and use her skill to get down Dendro and future piercing damage. From here, the goal of the deck is to combine the various elements to disrupt the opponent and activate Nahida's follow-up piercing damage. The combination of the piercing damage, catalyze, and overload can allow Klee, and especially Kutzing, to do massive damage that can outpace most decks. Additionally, with the dice ramp cards like Paimon and Lieben, this deck can quickly flex from aggro to ramp to keep up with the opponent's ramp. Most unique with this deck, is the inclusion of Sendoff. With the prevalence of summons in this version of the TCG, Sendoff helps to counter summon decks and keep them behind. Because the deck swaps characters a lot, the two copies of Watatsumi Island work better than other healing support cards to keep everyone alive. Additionally, the two Star Signs cards can help get bursts out, primarily an early round 2 Nahida burst or a later Kutzing burst for large piercing damage when paired with Nahida's 5 cost skill attack. And with that being said, let's get into some matches and see how the deck does. Okay, looks like we are up against a Hyper Bloom team hmm, with summons, so this could be very interesting. Whose summons do we want to target? His are going to be harder to get out, Tainari's. If they go for a quick Ayato burst, that could be a thing. And then there's also Sarah's. Sarah's would be easy to get back out, though, unless we're talking her burst. So it really just kind of depends. This is not the best start in the world. Um, I suppose I'll keep this, and then... Okay, Lieben is not a bad choice. We could go for a slower start here. Um... The question is, how do we want to play this? We could always just play these things, or play our whole bloody hand, really, and chill. Do we want to sit on Nahida for that? Do we want to risk it for Kitsing? Ideally, we'd like to get Kitsing's Let's skill out. Quickly. They're going to start with that, too. Um, and then probably swap the Tainari. That is not what we want to see. Let's hope for some Electro here. Um, no, not really. We could always normal attack. Strike. Huh. How do we want to play this? Because this is definitely not the start that we wanted here. We could try to convert a card, but I don't really know if I want to. These are very high value, so maybe we just normal attack and, and go from there. 
And I think that might just be the choice. Catherine, they're gonna go for the quick swap into Tainari. Um, use and skill for instant catalyze, which is going to be annoying. We're gonna have to play a lot of ramp here. I don't feel like that's gonna be great value, so instead I'm just gonna use this. We could also energy, but again, we're low on HP on her already. So I think that's just gonna be the smartest choice. Again, bad dice rolls at the start. They have Lieben for nothing, they're just revealing that they have it. Ideally, I would like to knock him off of that. Um, let's see what we get here. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Um, we do have Paimon, which could be useful for it, but I'm not risking that. I feel like we need to get off Kitsing to try to delay... Well, Paimon's coming regardless, it seems. Um to try to delay. Uh, huh. Could go to Klee if we wanted to. Could go to Nahida. I've been waiting for you for ages. Again, without Catherine, this is a little tricky to work with here. Yeah, we're not gonna give him the, the instant catalyze. He's got that, which is a thing. Um, we're one short here. We could just reroll this, to be honest. See if we get any dendro. We get one dendro, good. That's enough to at least get this down. Grow, grow, grow. Ideally, this would be good too, but we may or may not get to that. Switching back to her. Parametric transformer. Okay. They're ending first, which means they're going to get that Catalyze off regardless because we don't have our summon removal. That's going to be annoying. This is a very slow start, and I think we're going to need to start prioritizing some amount of heals. We also need to keep up with dice, so... Again, the dice rolls were a bit of a tricky thing here. And we could energy, we're gonna take, what, one and then two. So we'll end up taking three, taking us down to four. Um, just at the beginning, which is enough for them to potentially go lethal. Um, I think we have to start converting these energies at this point. Or at least an energy and maybe a gambler's or something. Actually, I'm just gonna convert both the energies, because we, we need to get this down. The energies are high value, but... We literally die without this. I haven't lost yet is going to be pretty important here. They're going to have their burst ready. We don't have, again, any of our summon removal, which is a problem. Nor do we have Catherine yet, so... Maybe strategize can come through with Catherine. Gosh. Elemental skill, saw that coming. And this gives us our summon removal finally, so that's nice. She's at 5 HP. We could just blast that, but I don't know if that's smart. It's tempting, but I don't know if it's smart. We could also try to go for her burst. And Ayato hasn't done anything yet, so that's concerning. We do have Catherine now, though, so that is good. Yeah, I feel like just doing this, the small one, is smarter. They are going to be at four dice, so they will have the... Oh, they're going to go for him. Interesting, I thought they were going to go for the Dendro again. They are going to get the dice there. Okay. They could also normal attack, which is concerning here. Hmm. Which means electro charge. Of course, the hydro means bloom, and that's potentially scarier, to be entirely honest.
I feel like I would rather go for her for this, to be entirely honest. I, like, I would rather take the Electro Charge over the Bloom. Even if it does some damage there. Pizza, okay. And they're just gonna end and let it go to Lieben so that they can go first. Interesting. Hmm. We could get rid of this, but it's such low value for him right now. It might be better just to see if we get a pizza or something. No, we don't. We get another strategize, though. Maybe just play both, see what happens. Okay. So we've got some things we can work with next turn. They're gonna be keeping up with our dice, though, due to leaving. That's useful, so yeah, it's very good that we did our double draw there, because that's going to be helpful for us actually keeping alive. I don't know if I want any of that. I kind of want Nahida to get Catalyze out first before anything, or Klee to start overloading. We'll keep one of those just in case the game is insistive, or insistent on giving us Electro, which it wasn't, thankfully. Okay, what are they doing? Also have to keep in mind that they do have Inazuma Resonance here, so that's going to be a thing. Okay, they've got normal attacks going out, doing some big damage. If we overload to there, it might still be best to do it. Going to be subtract 5, but... And she will definitely take the Dendro hit. Burst, yeah. Puts her at one, which is a bit concerning. Um, they are also, though, going to be in quite a predicament because Klee can do a lot of damage here. We could theoretically just kill the Tainari, but that leaves us with a lot of low HP people here. I mean, we're all kind of low, but still. That burst is what we have to worry about, too. Play that, and then just attack, I suppose. If they don't manage to kill her, we can try to burst. He heals the five, which is very annoying. I think Klee Burst might help save us here if we can get it out. Klee Burst into Kitsing. Okay, looks like we're getting, getting close to it. I don't think they're going to be able to kill her in one hit. Though maybe actually with Bloom, now that I think about it, they might just be able to. Yep, yep, because the sword. Um, Let's finish this quickly. Okay, think. Time to go into big think mode. That's five damage there, which this will not do anything to help with. However, if we burst, that does kill off a couple of people. I think we go for it with gamblers. Cut to the chase. This will be enough for I'm Nahida to do her thing. Reese. He heals the two. I think Nahida can just kill. Okay. 
Nahida can get the kill off here. Yeah. I probably should have used this. They might have. I haven't lost yet. No, no, we win. Wow, very close one here. Very close, but able to come through right at the end. I am defeated. Okay, looks like we are up against more of a one-turn kill kind of a deck, it looks like. If you're running Hu Tao, there's definitely going to be a lot of that. And we have Sing So and Amber, which is an interesting choice. Um, that's a lot of card draw there, but do we want both of these right now. I feel like ideally I'd prefer a Lieben or maybe some healing, so that works too. Um, since they have Sing So and will probably want to start with Sing So, I am going to go Nahida. They might start with Amber though for the defense. Nope, they are going to go with Sing So. I'm going to play it a little risky. We can always just use Bestus if we need to. Oh, thankfully it didn't knock that over. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to need to use Vestus here. Normal attack. Ouch. Um, I am going to Vestus into this. Grow, grow, grow. Maybe drop down the Paimon and then there. Yeah, so they are going to try to go for a quick one here. Um, fair enough. We're just gonna try to outgeist them. This is a very good draw at one cost there. This can not really do a whole lot actually for us in this matchup because it's not going to get rid of Amber's Baron Bunny. It's just going to stop it from shielding, which could be useful in a pinch, but probably not going to be uh to be the the end all be all there. Okay, switching to Hu Tao, interesting. With a pyro die to use her ability, okay. See? Now, of course, the question is, can we just boost her off of it? Interesting. They're using another pyro to switch it back to him, okay. So they're gonna like burst into the swap. And this could be very interesting here because. We probably want to push her around a bit. Um, that's a lot of Dendro that I probably don't want right now. The Pyro and the Electro is really what we're looking for here. Um, because that's what we're going to use to uh, push the, the Hu Tao around. Question is, do they have quick swap? Let's finish this quickly. If they don't have quick swap, that could be very beneficial for us. They're gonna swap to Amber, so it doesn't look like they have quick swap, which is nice. Don't blink. Normal attack there, okay. They're going for card draw there. We're gonna switch to Klee. Go for overload. We'll see what they do. Gonna put shields on her, that makes sense, since you generally wanna keep her fairly low. Um, hmm. We could go for the burning, or we could let them bloom it out, or we could go for catalyze. There's a lot of options here, actually. Um, if we go for the burn, we can just get a kill off on him, I do believe. Because Klee will be able to go again, so. So unless they have healing. Oh, he's just dead. Yeah, burning is going to kill him right there. the power of Klee coming through. I have so there goes their big combo, and that's instant concession. 
Okay, looks like we've got quite the interesting deck. We've got Inazuma Resonance. They're going to definitely try and get that burst off on Raiden very early into Bennett, which we're going to have to start blasting around quite a bit. I feel like Overload is going to be our friend here. This could be helpful, but I would really, really like some ability to guarantee that my dice aren't bad other than just that. Um, because I would like round one overload, but we'll, we'll find out here. Let's go. Time is against us. We also don't have any quick swap, which is going to be mighty inconvenient. Um, get rid of all of that. We're gonna go for the overload route here pretty early. Uh, ah, that cryo is not looking nice. But, we'll at least be able to get this off, so let's see what they do. Speed of light. Because it looks like they're going to try to go for, like, a one-turn kill Vaporize here. Okay, they're drawing for something. Shine down. Elemental skill. Okay. I'm going to play that. I'm going to play this and hope we get something a little better than three Cryo. It would have been nice if we had Paimon, but we don't. There we go. That I will take. That is quite nice. Okay, are they going to swap to someone else? They will. Now, do they have Lieben, or are they going to use his skill here and go for Electro Charge? They will use his skill and go for the Electro Charge. Okay. That's fine, we can always start booping people around with her. We would really, really, really enjoy having our Catherine. No luck. There's always this, though. Because we are going to need to move pretty quickly here. We, we definitely have to beat out the uh, Geo. is very tenacious. Uh, we're going to have to beat out the Raiden Burst. Let's see if we draw anything good. That would have been useful last turn. Um, I am still going to place that down. We could do this and swap straight to... Swap him to Bennett, forcing some very interesting things here. I'm kind of alright with that, to be honest. Incoming. It puts a lot of damage on him. And if we can get this going, it could be very nice. We can also just swap right back to Klee. Interesting. Um, how do we want to play this? Now, she is going to be able to burst for four here. Um, and we could end up blasting her off which I think I'm willing to do here because she will at least be able to normal attack anyways, so. She's probably rolling for uh, dice rigging for the burst. They're going to inevitably do it. They have all the cards in the world. I can't imagine them not. And we'll get to draw plenty of things, hopefully Catherine. Yep, they're going to sit there and go for it. Oblivion. That's one. They have all of the energy in the world. The problem is, Klee likely dies here. So that is a wonderful issue because of that. But if we get I Haven't Lost Yet from any of these, which we just did, this could be very useful for taking him out. We also have this. There's a Lieben in hand. The opponent's just going to end. They'll go for the kill here with his burst. We can get rid of it with that. And then I haven't lost yet on her burst kill both of them. Really hope that we get a... Uh, I'm just going to drop this just in case. I don't want to accidentally flood. Um, really hope that we get a Gamblers because that will make this very spicy. So Klee is going to take one for the team for us. No gamblers, but we do have this, which could be possibly useful. 
We've got 15 cards in there to draw a gambler, so 1 in 15, not the best odds in the world, but I'm willing to risk it. It is a very good thing. We're not going to get that off, so. Okay, all Hydro. He's really gonna, really gonna go there. Hmm, shield, interesting, okay. Ow. It was an accident. Okay, we can do this. We can get rid of that. See if we draw gamblers. We don't. That's very unfortunate. Because that only leaves us with two now. Um, he only has four, though, so I'm not too concerned. Nowhere to hide. I put in that one, no more riding. And I can always do this and just place something else. I probably should have did this ahead of time. Normal attack for three. Okay. Doesn't leave him with a whole lot. Um, we could always just get rid of that too. And then he has no Electro to work with. Yeah, I like that idea. Now there is no Electro for him to work with. There's not going to be any surprise dice here because they're not running any kind of elemental resonance. We get to go first, get the kill, shield up. There's Gamblers, a teensy bit late. I do like that idea because I do think Nahida is going to be very useful here. We also have Catherine, so that is nice. How do we want to play this? Do we want to, like, swap Nahida into doing it for the Catalyze? That might be smart. If we just go for the normal attack, yeah, we'll get the kill... He can burst, which is going to be very problematic. Especially, and odds are, that his burst card is in there. Um, so I feel like getting the Catalyze off is the smarter choice here. It's a lot of dice that we're using for this, but I am willing to do it. We'll have the, the dice advantage anyways. And then we can use her skill. Yeah, he's definitely going to be able to burst. I don't like being that low on dice. Maybe using Kitsing and surviving that way was the smarter idea. Hmm, did they not roll the dice that they have to use toss-up? I can't imagine all of those cards are necessary for this. If he has, like, General's Ancient Helm, that could be a thing. Yeah, they're going for the burst, for sure. They'll have four dice left over. Going for a pizza, too. Yeah, they're really going for stall here. And that's zero, but she is going to now take, like, five, which is going to be a big deal. Um, I feel like just plopping down the healing might be the choice here. Lieben is kind of getting in the way at this point, but we are going to need that healing, because that Vaporize is going to be a problem. Normal attack for four, okay, so they didn't have the, the dice to do anything else there. I haven't lost yet again. Mm, we had more energy on her, maybe. That'll take him to six, so we at least won't be able to do too much damage unless he has additional healing. Um, I am going to kind of convert one of these because there's no point in me holding on to it. That would take him to five, but then he'd heal to seven. She definitely is not doing no seven damage. 
I don't know if they have gamblers. What damage can she do? If this takes her to four, he smacks, heals back up to five. Um, no, it takes him to five. What? Oh, uh, yeah. He heals back up to seven. Then she attacks for six. Um, I don't think that's going to be lethal. But I'm going to risk it. It definitely keeps him below the threshold there. And from where I'm standing, unless he has some food, which he might, he shouldn't be able to attack more than twice, which means attack on her, attack on her. We can still potentially win this. That's going to be annoying. Elemental skill back up to there. Oh, I just realized I don't have the dice for this. That was a problem. Oh, that was a big mistake, wasn't it? Oh, boy. Yeah, that might have been a throw. I think we've got a burst at this point. We gotta, we gotta let her go. Her with Hydro on her is going to be a big issue, especially since he can just burst again. And that burst will do, uh, will do too. Yep. There's the burst. She's down. There's seven. I'm going to use that just to get the uh, thing for Lieben, but I don't expect that this is going to go very far here. Unless we draw more energy, but I think I've used all of it. I've got nine cards, so we'll see. That's also eight, which I don't see her doing. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, ain't it? Yeah, I think this is just a loss here due to a, a bad play on my part. And not looking good with that little Electro Dice. If we were to burst, it wouldn't be enough. That's not going to be enough. This is going to take the six, but I'm pretty sure he can do past that, so... Especially in two attacks. Incoming! Okay, let's see what he's got going on here. Oh, that's annoying. Is that lethal? It might be with a, a uh, whatchamabob. He's just gonna normal attack for it. Interesting. Which will heal him to four. That's just enough. My lord, we, we won by pure luck. That was insanely lucky on our part. Incoming. This is just A bad play on my part, honestly. Okay, looks like we are up against a standard freeze deck here. So, probably going to want to start with Nahida here. Since Singcho is going to end up putting Hydro on himself with his burst. Starting with Nahida here is going to be the smartest choice. Even if they go Chung Yun into Sing Cho to give energy with Liu Su, we can still end up putting uh, Dendro and proccing Bloom. So that's going to make these two hit like a truck once we get into it. Uh... And not a terrible combo. This is going to be useful in the long run. Um, that's going to be useful. Yeah, I think we can work with this. I've been waiting for you for ages. And they will go with Sing Cho as expected. So the bloom is going to be very useful here. And it looks like we can get out quite a bit. Maybe we try to go for the big bloom for piercing. We know, yeah, and we'll be able to do it. We know basically what they're going to be doing, so. 
We don't have too much of a reason not to. They want to get this out as fast as possible. Hey. And that's fine for us. Oh, Elemental oh. skill, the very dangerous choice on their part. Um, do we want to go with Klee or with her next? Probably her next. Just so that we have that, that quick teleport out. Let's finish this quickly. And then we can place that. And now we just see what they do. Do they have any kind of energy in hand for him? No. Yeah, the pizza. All of this healing is going to be useful because we are probably going to have to tank a lot of damage here. Uh, let's see. We want more Electro than anything else. We unfortunately don't have things like Lieben in hand, so... Uh, we've got Pyro, and we've got our Electro, so we could easily go Kitchen into Klee, which might be a good idea here. That's gonna do four right there, and apply Electro, so unless they have the burst right here and there, or he's going to use his skill no, again, sword. yeah. Um, man, I'm tempted, honestly, just to go back here and do Bloom again, actually, instead of risking that. That might be the smarter choice. I've been waiting for you for ages. We could also mm, get this down for when he inevitably does that. That'll activate. So then we have quite a bit of card draw in hand. We're also ready with Nahida's Burst. Okay. We draw another one of these. So they can probably swap, and if anything, they'll swap to him, use skills. So I think I'm just going to... Hmm... If they do nothing, this is a waste, and they might do nothing. Um, if they do something, it's quite a bit of damage, but it might be smarter, actually, just to do this first. Just in case. Even, she'll survive. They aren't going to do 8 damage in one hit, so she can survive next turn to burst, and then use one of these to protect her. And between Klee and Ketsing, we've got quite a bit to work with. Okay, yeah, they're gonna normal attack. Interesting. That's using one of those, which is not something they really want to do, especially since they're also giving me card draw in the meantime here. Oh, and we have that. That's quite nice. So, burst into Klee, perhaps? That would be nice. This would also be good to keep because of a burst right into Kitsing Catalyze, but she's going to get frozen anyway, so I don't know. I mean, Klee will get frozen as well, so I think we try to go for Klee here. Ooh, the game is not wanting to give us that. The game's not even wanting to give us um, Nahida. Okay, so we've got a lot of Nahida, not so much for Klee or Kitsing now, but we can get around that. So let's get the burst down. Again, this is going to make whatever we react with, with that bloom, do insane damage. Okay, they're just going to go straight for the swap. Not the end of the world here. Okay, we've got a lot of this. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Because we could swap and attack. We could swap and ramp. 
Now they're going to be attacking for two, so they've got at least two more attacks to do here, so I don't think we want to do anything too risky. This is actually the issue that we have with Quick Swap right now, because we want them to start wasting damage on us. So we can go to Klee and then mitigate with Kitsing here. Let's go. Time is against us. And we can just keep mitigating damage. Are they gonna actually use that Legion? They might. That's no big issue to me if they do. Um, we have a pizza, but we can't really use it on anyone. So maybe it would have been better to go in the other direction for dice economy. I'm fine with this at the moment, because we can just dupe and then dupe again. Okay. They have burst, but we can deal with that, and we're going to swap to her anyway, so that's no big deal. Parametric Transformer goes down for next turn. Interesting, so they're going to have more dice than us for sure. Yeah, we now have two of these. We do need to get this off as soon as possible here. Okay, we should be good to do this combo with Klee and Kitsing now. We've got everything that we need. We get to go first. We get to attack with Klee first. All should be well here. Klee can help. There's four right there. Now the question is, do they immediately burst and do we just use this? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of damage there. Now we could just get rid of it. If we played this, we get rid of... We honestly just straight up get rid of the Ayaka, which would be quite nice. Um, though it gives them a ton of dice to work with, and that could be very dangerous here. Especially since she likely dies. We don't have gamblers. If it pushes him over there. We could go for burning then with Klee. Or we can just get rid of that and play the pizza. But they are still going to be able to... I think we just take her out of the Ayaka at this point. We gotta do some damage to them. They're gonna get a ton of dice, but we are going to at least be able to put some pressure down there. He is our next biggest issue. Yeah, they're going to start doing a lot of normal attacking damage. Um... Hmm... He could normal attack into normal attack into burst, which would be a massive issue for us. Um, in that case, I probably want to put this on Klee, because she's going to be our biggest damage dealer in the long run. We are going to lose both Klee and Nahida, or uh, both uh, Kitsing and Nahida. fine because they can easily just burst that or he could no I don't want to do two no he could actually just skill but he is going to use the burst that's actually beneficial for us if he skilled in this and kept the burst that would have been a problem this is also a problem with the freeze though we actually have to worry about that Well, that'll do two. Yeah, freeze in the shatter might be a big issue here. We didn't get... Mm, and we didn't get this off. This could just be a loss right here. 
We have everything that we need. We just have to hope that they don't have the dice. Because we do not have the healing by any stretch of the imagination. That's five and one. No, actually, you know what? We might just win this. Yeah, no, because that's going to kill him. I forgot about that. Never mind. I forgot that was going to trigger and kill the, the Sing Cho. I am outplayed. Swift and merciful. Elemental skill won't be enough to do anything here. And we get the win. Very close there. Very close. Mitigating damage proving useful. Let's briefly talk about the overall competitiveness of the deck. Overburn as a reaction combo is quite powerful in this version of the TCG, and the combination of both Nahida's and Kitsune's piercing capabilities, along with Klee's ability to dish out numerous attacks at low cost, grant this deck an S ranking. Despite the overall simplicity of the cards in the deck, the amount of foresight and decision making can make this deck difficult to use to its maximum effectiveness. Additionally, the starting hand and opening dice rule can greatly define the speed of the deck early on, and without initial ramp cards in hand, a bad dice roll can restrain the deck for a round. However, due to the sheer power of its character cards and elemental reactions, making mistakes doesn't immediately result in a death sentence, and the deck's flexibility and resounding power make it very consistent and worthy of an S ranking. If you decide to use the deck, feel free to share how well it works for you in the comments below, and click on the video here for more strong TCG decks.